EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the great cities of the world, London, England. Coming up, another installment of the NFL International Series, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. All set for the first of five international games this season. The Falcons and Jags underway from London. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Now Hall to start the drive. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great go, game the cut. week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The Jaguars at 1-2 and two through the first three weeks of the season. And they got off to the tough 0-2 oh start, but come off a very important first win of the season last time out. And it's tough when you find yourself in an early season crossroads, but that's exactly where they were. At 0-2, oh they were thinking, if we fall to 0-3, oh things can spin out of control. But now at 1-2... They shouldn't feel the need to press out there. They're now back in a good spot. Find a way to win some games and keep moving forward. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's third down. You talk about this Falcon defense. They were terrific a week ago in the win over the Lions. Yeah, they pitched a shutout in that game, didn't they? And those don't come around all that often in the NFL. The ability to keep someone out of the end zone and also from kicking one through the post. Well done. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Stroud on third down now. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. To the air on first down. Here's Willis. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Second down throw coming by Willis. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and go. second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage Reed, on this down? Reed, Buffalo 18. On the goal, on the goal, now, now. Third down, it's Willis. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Danny Gray, his third 
one touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Come on, come Jaguars on. come to the line to start their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. You talk about this Falcon defense. They were terrific a week ago in the win over the Lions. Even better than that, they pitched a shutout in that game, and I'm telling you, that is a confidence builder and a trust builder on both sides. And what I mean by that is coaching staff putting together a game plan, players executing it, now both of them are in sync. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can he get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Fourth down, here's Stroud. And he is caught. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Stroud looking to throw. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know how we often talk about how offenses get locked in and that runs over multiple games where they're really you know, in that zone? Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. Stroud now on second down. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. There Offensively, go. good luck finding some answers right now. 18, five years. Trap 60, trap 60. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. On fourth down, Dom Maggio out to punt. Fielded just inside the 30. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Seven Pirates! Seven Pirates! Go Street! Panther 11! Panther 11! Warriors 17! 
the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking for Gray and finding him once again. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Got it. Ready. Back to back, good plays have them on the move on first down. Willis will look to throw it. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They set up the screen to A-Chain. Touchdown, Falcons! Devon A-Chain from eight yards out, and the Falcons go up by two touchdowns. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles complimentary football at its finest you just mentioned how they got it done they scored the defense got the ball back for them they score again that's the way you win ball games extra point by Carlson up and good and it's now 14 to nothing following the touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Ready! The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the go, line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The second down throw now from Stroud. This pass out wide to Hall. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because Ready, the defense brought pressure that time. Average, and sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain Ready. downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Ready, ready. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. 19 right. Fourth down, Stroud going to try to throw for it. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Cup 19. Cup 19. To the air on first down, here's Willis. Touchdown. Danny Gray. With his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. So that pretty conclusively, I might add, shows you the perils of going for it and not making it on fourth down. One play, touchdown. Yeah, and I've got to put this on the man in charge, the head coach. He made the decision to go for it. To me, when punting was the only decision to make, and it backfired on him in a big way. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. Daniel Carlson set to 
Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here... That's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Come on, come on. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Stroud. And his throw's going to be incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. A shotgun snap to Stroud. And going deep for Hill. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. And they can't bring him down. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it downfield to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation. And they took advantage of the young man right there. Hurry, hurry. Let's go. First and ten, it's Willis. Over the middle, and he's got Gray. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and ten. To throw, here's Willis. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They'll wind up getting 7 on the play. And it'll be 2nd down. 18, Pioneer! Ready? 2nd down, here's Willis. They'll swing this out wide. Here's a chain. And the Falcons are going to have a 1st and goal coming up as the tackle made at the 3-yard line. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly, and now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set them back for second down. Second down, Willis looks to throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Danny Gray on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Falcons continue to pull away here in this first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it is 28-0. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. 
Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Normally I'd say this will lead to a punt attempt, but this offense already shown in the first half that they'll go for it on fourth down. Oh, they should have already said punt it, punt it. Head coach have already made that decision. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 23. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And it will be Falcon football. Ready, ready. About set to begin Back their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Let's go now. Second and 10. 60 Mavericks. 60 Mavericks. Hurt, hurt. 65 Jack, 65 Jack. 19 Lions. Now Willis. Escaping the pressure right. Finds Gray on the comeback route. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one good for 26 and a first down. Back. Stop low 18. First and 10 at the 42 yard line. Cup 19! Cup 19! Willis looking to throw it. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and 10. Willis back to the air on second and ten. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to find Noah Fant, the tight end. And that takes us from second to third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that'll be incomplete. The flag was down, so they took a shot, thinking it's on the defense. Let's see. And that last penalty makes this third down play a little more interesting. Third and five. 19 tight. 19 tight. Ready. Willis will look to pass again here. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five.